we've been out a couple of times for the end of the season. But um, two weeks ago, my uncle, I spotted a buck for him, a little spike. He took a shot at it and he was not able to connect. I don't know, I think Buck Fever hit him and he just got real, like, um, real, like, shaky, so he missed a buck. Um, we went out yesterday with a couple buddies, but, um, we only spotted does, pretty much it. But today, we are out trying to get me, fill my doe tag. At first light, we spotted a doe way in a canyon but she was way too far she's probably like 600 yards i wasn't willing to like take a shot at it so we passed up it, it had a fawn but it was legal it was a year old already so we're just gonna keep glassing these clear cuts to see if we can spot a doe to to get more meat in the freezer Listos? Down. ¿La pegué? Sí. Se va abajo ya. Ahí yeah, está. Yeah, yeah. ¿Estás aquí? Sí, ¿verdad? ¿Estás Sí. Ya, güey. Hasta allá, la orilla. Ah, ya, sí, ahora. Vamos. Está abajo. Es un lugar perfecto, ¿eh? Oh, ella está todavía moviendo. Pero fue un lugar perfecto, ¿eh? Sí, eso fue un lugar perfecto. ¿Debería ir a ella de nuevo? Ella está moviendo alrededor. No, ella está muerta ahora. Do you see her moving? She stopped with it. <laughs> oh, that was a perfect shot though. Let's go. I shot from right here. She is like, I think exactly like 280, 280 yards. She's right in the middle right there. She's upside down. Smoked her. Double lunged her, I think. She only went like 40 yards. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We got some meat in the freezer. And we're just gonna go pack her out. She shouldn't be too bad of a pack up. So we got the pack frames on. We just got the frame cut. That's all we need, pretty much. I think we're gonna try to 
drag her down all the way down the ridge all the way down the, the side of the mountain and then pull her to the creek bottom then once we get to the creek bottom i'm not sure if we'll quarter her up or if we'll um if we just put her in the backpack and just bring her up because she looks like a pretty big doe but shouldn't be too much of a problem getting her up here so we're just gonna get up there and get get this doe to the truck we're using these deer trails to get to her in the easiest way possible because it's a little steep here but these trails are making it pretty easy work at least on this side of the mountain it's pretty big <laughs> there she is sure I shot her in the heart perfect shot she died within like five seconds we're just gonna cross this little creek at the bottom we haven't tagged her yet we haven't put the tag on her ear yet but because we didn't want the tag to fall off so I already got her e-tagged I already got it registered and we we'll just put the tag once once we're back to the truck There, I just got all my information filled right here on my tag. Uh, I'm just gonna peel the sticker. Okay. So you can see it right there. That's all my information. And then I just take this clip. I'll take this clip, get my tag, put this through here, and I will tag her just right here, put her through, get it through here, and there we go, that's my 2023 list tag filled. We went to go check if we could find my rangefinder, but we couldn't find it. Uh, we left it there, I, th I think I dropped it. I left my like bino harness like thing open and I think it came out so oh, it sucks <laughs> but it happens yeah, we're just gonna eat my dad's gonna start cooking up some food and I'm gonna just glass for a little bit to see if I can't find any more deer or animals oh see si. si uh, si. mm -hmm. it's grande. Más o menos, como el de mi pa, un poquito menos. It's like on the edge. Ya se bajó, ¿no? Bajó. La pantalla. He's looking for a doe. Yeah, no, he's just walking around looking. Yeah, no, I'm at the, yeah, it's like. Mm -hmm. Is that so we were just glassing for fun while we were eating and I spotted a decent fork in one of these um in a, a giant clear got some reed prod some small reed prod and he's trying to look for he's searching for does he's cruising pretty fast we lost him in this little like valley thing and we can't see it so um I think that's it for today we're <clears throat> gonna go home we have some things to do we gotta get the the dough all processed up and 
It's a good one, good season. So we got the dough hung up, we're just going to clean her up, get her all ready. Um, the shot was, I forgot where it was at, but it busted her through her shoulder right here. And it came, it, it was busted through this side of the shoulder and it came out right there. But she was laying down so it's, it got her heart so she went. She died pretty quick, so we're just gonna get her processed up and she didn't take too long. So I'm gonna read a verse from 2 Corinthians. It's 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 9, verse 7, and it says, So let each one give as he purposes in his heart, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. I really like this verse because it reminds me to give generously maybe not only financially but spiritually as in prayer and maybe attention or whatever but it really just reminds us to be generous in our heart maybe to ask God to give us a generous heart to give us a loving heart to be able to um, show people generosity in many different ways so I really like I really just like this verse overall it's just a really amazing verse and it just shows um, that we can show the the love of God through through what we do in our everyday things.